Hi everybody! Uh, so we've decided to do something a little different today. Now that Anne, Suzanne, and myself are back in the church delivering some morning prayer worship, we thought maybe we'd switch to doing some, I'm going to put them in quotes, educational videos. For those of you that want to learn more about how worship music works, or are curious, or are just bored. Whenever one works, honestly. Uh, well today I'm going to talk about some uh, breathing tips to help the average churchgoers think a little better. These are not for necessarily trained musicians or, you know, you don't have to have any sort of knowledge, just the ability to take a breath in and out is all the, all the skill you need to improve your breathing. We hope that you are singing along to the hymns we are playing. We plan to distribute some music for those of you that don't have hymnals um, electronically for the next couple weeks. Um, for your to ease your singing along, here are some breathing tips to help you for your at-home church singing. Number one, be sure to sit up as straight as you can. The muscles involved in your breathing go all the way up and all the way down your torso. So your torso should be as straight as you can make it without tensing up or hurting yourself. This way none of your muscles are collapsed upon. I normally sit like this. This is not a way, a good way to facilitate good singing and bre uh, breath work, but I'll, you know all I have to do is just uh, puff my chest out a little bit and uh, straighten up my back, and my breathing is a lot more um, uninhibited. Let's try actually. Let's try it on some of our service music from last week. I'm gonna play um, the first two lines from the uh, Venite uh, S35. Um, if you have your hymnal. And if you're not, I'm going to put the music next to me. Actually, next to me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. So hopefully when you, uh, when you did that, you were sitting up straight. Um, truly the best way to open up your breathing is to stand, um, like we do in our in-person church services. But I'm not going to ask anyone to stand up during your church service. If you sit up straight, it's just fine. Um, if you are collapsed into a comfortable couch like this, um, you're probably not going to be able to sing much, get much air, um, because all of your, every part of your respiratory system is collapsed. So my second tip is expand your lungs downward, not upward. Let me explain what I mean by this. When a lot of people take a deep breath, their lungs expand upward, which forces their shoulders upward to make room. Try taking a regular deep breath in this way. See how my shoulders raised? Um, notice how tense your shoulders and neck become. The neck houses your vocal cords, so you don't want any tension there. You're not going to be able to sing well at all. When you expand your lungs downward, you're engaging your diaphragm, which is a small involuntarily muscle right here, to push your stomach and other organs out to make room. Um, so let me kind of demonstrate like this. No, that's not my shoulders didn't move at all, but everything was contained up here. This is a little less natural feeling, I think, for most of us, because normally we don't really care about tension in our neck or tension in our shoulders. But if you want to sing properly, you can't have to any tension here. Um, so it leads to a much more relaxed breath, a much more relaxed singing, which is crucial to singing without hurting yourself. When you're trying this, you might not be able to get the notes out immediately, um, or even get as big of a breath as an upward breath, but that's because you're not as practiced with the downward breath, breath most likely, so as you do it, it'll become, um, it becomes easier and you get stronger over time. So let's practice our uh, downward expanding breath um, with a little bit more of an idea. I'm going to play the first uh, three lines, and um, we'll see how far you can get on just that one breath staying relaxed. Here we go. One, two, ready. Come, let us sing to the Lord. A shout for joy for to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. 
My last trick, and this is really more of a mind trick thing, and it works for me, it might not work for you, but I encourage all of you to try it, is to actually visualize the air moving from your lungs across your vocal cords out of your mouth. Um, it sounds kind of funny. I imagine it like um, in like old Saturday morning cartoons, whenever they wanted to represent wind, they had like white lines. Um, that would just move across the screen, and I, I literally imagine a white line coming out um, and moving. Um, when I do this, this uh, is sub subconsciously encourages my lungs to move more air and to have the air be more directional and fast. When your air that you breathe comes out quickly when you sing, that will relax your vocal cords a little bit more, and truly, like the the more relaxed you can be, the better your vocal cords will have to work less hard to get volume because uh, you could also get volume just from the volume of air moving through your system. Well, that's it uh, for me today. I hope this was at all helpful. Um, feel free to check out Suzanne's video today for your regular weekly dose of sacred music. Stay safe, everybody.